Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Merlin's Crystal. There are no quest or stats requirements, and the items needed are a loaf of bread, a tinder box, a bucket of wax, and some bad bones. If you can get hold of these final two items, then watch my older guide wherein I get these two myself. For the recommended items is just as always some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion should be enough. And then also some food and a weapon to kill a combat 37. There are no safe spots available by the way. For the teleports, three teleportation methods to Camelot, one to Taverly, one to Port Serim and then one to Varrock. And then maybe also one after the quest is completed. Right, where to start this quest is right here at King Arthur's Camelot Castle. In the northeastern corner, let's talk to King Arthur and select option 1. Next, let's go south to the southwestern part of this round table and talk to Sir Gawain. And select option 3. Next, let's go upstairs. The stairs are located west. Next, let's go to the northeastern big corner room, and north of the table you should find Sir Lancelot. Talk to him and select option 3 as well. Next, let's teleport to Camelot, or just run back to the entrance, and let's run to Catherby. Alright, let's go to the Catherby Bank and north of the candle shop next to it, you'll find a crate. Hide in it and just keep pressing the spacebar. Yes, select option 1. And just keep pressing the spacebar until you've arrived to keep the fi. And select option 1 again. Next, let's open the large door and climb up the staircase. Let's go to the top floor. South. There's another staircase, and here you'll find a combat 37 or 39 Sir Mordred. Right click and attack him, and once he has been defeated, select option 1 and then 2. I probably should have brought food. Fuck. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Wow, I should have brought food. Let's attack him. And once he has been defeated, select option 1 and then 2. Alright, after the woman has vanished, let's teleport to Camelot. Are you fucking kidding me? Once the woman has disappeared, let's teleport to Camelot and then go back to the candle shop. Alright, let's now enter the candle shop and talk to the candle maker and select option 1. Next, since you already have the bucket of wax, let's talk to him again to deliver it, and he will give us a black candle. Next, let's teleport to Taverly. On our way to Taverly, we might as well just use our tinderbox on the black candle to light it. Alright, here in Taverly, let's go to the southeastern corner of Taverly. Near the transportation sign, there you'll find a penis villa filled with willows. Go to the center of it, and there you'll find an NPC. 
talk to Lady of the Lake and select option 3. Next, let's go to Port Serum. You can either run there or use any of the teleports that are available to you. Once you've arrived to Port Serum, let's go north and south of the magic shop in the northwestern corner, you'll find a jewelry shop. Try to open the door. And here at the beggar, select option 1, and he will give you Excalibur. Next, let's go to Varak, and we'll now need to go to Arbury's rune shop in the southeastern corner. Next to the rune shop, you will find a Chaos Altar, which you might remember from the Enter the Abyss mini quest. Enter that building and go to the altar in the southern corner. Right click on it and search. Right click on it and check the Chaos Altar. Next let's return to Camelot to basically complete our quest. Let's enter the castle's courtyard and go east. Follow this path to the northeastern corner. Here in the circle of pillars, stand in the center on this red star and be sure to have a lit black candle and then drop your bad bones. If you're not sure, use the shift drop option and this should spawn a ghost. Now the number of the option that you need to select is random for everyone, but be sure to take Snarton, Cantric, Termanto. Once you selected that, he should grant you power. Alright, let's now return inside of the castle to free Merlin and complete our quest. Let's enter the castle and go to the southwestern corner. Here you'll find a ladder, climb up the ladder twice to go to the top floor. Next here you'll find a crystal, use your Excalibur on it to free Merlin. And now we just need to climb back downstairs and let's return to the king to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed Merlin's Crystal Quest. You are awarded with 6 quest points and Excalibur. And you've also unlocked a quest requirement for 2 quests. The Holy Grail and Hero's Quest. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete Merlin's Crystal. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Holy fuck, this was shit.